Welcome to the survey to go basic training. My name is David and I'm one of the scripting managers here in Dublo. And today we're going to cover the survey to go task system. So the task system is meant for cases like mystery shopping or store audits where you want to send interviewer to specific branches or locations and have them perform specific surveys there for a specific number amount of times. And you don't want the interviewers to be able to just start up an interview ad hoc at any place and start interviewing. So a task is essentially a combination of a location, a survey that you want to be performed at, and an interviewer that needs to perform that survey at that location. And it involves the locations and assignment nodes. And it's worth mentioning that when you're using the task system, the interviewers now have a different UI in the app. So the app knows to adapt the user interface based on whether you're using tasks or regular ad hoc surveys. Now in this overview, we're not going to going to do a deep dive, but instead just an overview of the components of the task system and how everything changes when you're using tasks. So let's jump right in. For this demo, I'm using my McDonald's uh, customer and in here we have the McDonald's store audit projects that we have. Now we do have a survey right here, which we're going to jump into in just a moment. But what I want to start with is this node right here, which is called locations. And this plays a big part when you're using the task system. And when I double click on the McDonald's branches location store, it opens up my list of locations. So these are the list of branches that I have configured for this demo. So I have 12 different branches and you see I have a couple of properties per branch. Now these are can be any type and any number. So you're not limited to those that are uh, on top. And this can be imported just simply from Excel by right clicking here and clicking on add location list. Now next you want to assign the project with the location list. And so in our case, if I click on general settings, you'll see that we are assigned to the McDonald's branches store, which is the, the uh, only location store that exists now, but you can have multiple location stores and assign different stores to different projects for the customer. So the nice thing about using location stores, which is the uh, uh, a building block within the task system, is that when you are designing your survey, and let's jump right here to the actual survey, you'll see that you can access the different location properties inside the scripts. For example, the first question is a verification question asking, are you at, and then the branch name. And to do that, we are just going to pipe into here, the, um, get location props in the store name. And the store name is a column that we have within the location store. You'll see that store name is right here. The rest of the questions are just simple question. Uh, questions that have uh, to do with the actual store audit along with some piping of other columns. So now comes the unique um, case of the task system. And this is the assignments node that makes the task different uh, the task system unique. And if we expand this, we'll see we have batches and tasks and batches are just uh, logical containers of tasks. For example, if you have weekly um, star audits that you need to do. You can batch them out in a weekly batch and we're going to jump directly into our task system or our task list. And if I double click on that, we see the actual tasks that we have planned for this store audit. So you see the tasks and we can see everything is based off of the surveyor and the color coding is based on the status. Now tasks can be created and then they're in the new status and then they can be assigned to a certain interviewer, which will then receive them in on their device. And you also see a good understanding of whether the task is in progress or completed. So for example, in this case, we have a couple of tasks that are still not assigned. And if I want to assign them, I can either select one or multiple tasks and just click on assign and I can choose the interviewer that I want to assign to. Now here's the nice thing. 
So when an interviewer logs into his device and that interviewer has a, a task assigned to him, then when they log in, instead of getting the regular um, survey to go surveys list, what they get is actually a list of tasks. So for example, I can see that as Ricky, I have the out and about branch where I need to do the McDonald's store audit at and we have um, the McDonald's store audit to do on the polar branch and the family fair branch and the different icons represents whether this task is in progress or whether it's new. So this one is new, that's the out and about branch and if we have a look again at the list we see that this is the one. So we can see the location out and about and that's just assigned and these two are the in progress one. Uh, ones and you see them here. So when I start a task, instead of just starting an interview, I click on that task, I can have some comments in here, and I can click on start to go ahead and do the actual uh, interview. Now you'll notice that the branch name was just piped here. So are you at out and about? And this is something that the interviewer didn't do, have to do anything uh, for that it is done because of the fact that the location is already associated within the task so the interviewer doesn't have any control over that and that's exactly what we want with the task system so the rest of the questions are just the store audit part which we're not going to do but instead we're going to jump back to the tasks um, grid and I'll show you that once you have a task that was completed, for example, this one, if I double click on that, I get the details of the actual task itself, along with the link to the actual interview. All right, so this is this will take me to the actual data of the interview. So here's the actual data of the interview. This is what you already know from the regular operations grid and all of that, but it's encapsulated within a task where you can also have some comments, statuses, due dates, and all of that as well. And of course, you have a complete audit trail of the task, which you can see in the history tab. So you can think of tasks as like adding an additional layer of management over the regular interviews. Now on the bottom, of the task grid is a nice breakdown of all of the um, different tasks. So we have 13 tasks in total, six of them are still unassigned, one of them is in the assigned, and then the other statuses as well. Now again, as I've said before, the batches, and I'll double click on the batches node, the batches are the list of groups of tasks, and when you start a, a task you want to start off in a batch so for example a weekly batch can contain all the tasks of that week or a monthly batch or a quarterly batch and that's of course up to you so for example in our case we have one batch with which is active and we can also see the breakdown that we just saw before on the tasks list but right here from the batch because that's the batch that includes all of our tasks so it, we have 13 tasks six of them are still unassigned etc and if i double click this batch i jump immediately to the actual uh, task list that we've seen before now if i want to start a new batch is this, i just click on the new batch button and it starts the batch wizard where you can actually either um, type in the new tasks and associated with the locations or you can import them from excel and do all of the allocation within Excel and then just import um, the assignments already. One last important note is that everything we're going to cover in this task system um, series is available right here from our support.doobla.net site. You just go in here, put in task system and click on the task system manual and you'll have all of the different chapters and we're going to go over them in the videos but you also have an offline ability to see them as well so this has just been an overview of the uh, task system of course we're going to do a deep dive into each and one of the components later in later videos and i hope you join me for the rest of the vi videos